right back into the action for another day of sports betting action. Clean things up a little bit there yesterday. A nice 3-0. and Took advantage of some closing line value, of course. So hopefully you got in on that as well. But we are on to another day. And there are some monster games across the world of sports tonight. My three best picks. Two for the court. One for the ice. Let's get right into the action. And we're going to start things off in... Philadelphia, where we got the Brooklyn Nets in town. Big game here, and I'm going to take the Nets as an underdog coming in at plus four. So not my typical stat-heavy handicap here, because quite frankly, there's not a whole lot of stats to back this one up. But I do like the Nets here, and you should not judge this team on their numbers without Kevin Durant. If you're digging into some stats for this, you take a look at the Nets over the past couple of weeks. Very ugly stuff. But guess what? When Kevin Durant's there, they are fantastic. When he's not there, they absolutely stink. He's been back in the lineup for three games now, and they've been pretty damn competitive in those games. You know, close losses to Miami and Boston, two of the better teams in the league. Then they absolutely smacked the Hornets. So maybe building a bit of chemistry there. Kyrie looked pretty good last time out. Of course, he will be in the lineup tonight. Uh, forced to be reckoned with offensively too. Small sample size, but second in effective field goal shooting percentage in those three games. Then on the other side of the court, we got James Harden with Philadelphia. And quite frankly, they've been fantastic with Harden in the lineup, 5-0, and uh, but nothing really challenging in terms of the mental part of the game, right? You know, they face some decent competition, no real serious contenders though. But this game is going to be different. This game is going to have a playoff feel. There's going to be a lot of emotion involved here. And let me ask you, do you trust James Harden in a big spot? What about Doc Rivers? You trust him in a big spot? I most certainly do not. You know, you can't really knock and beat here. But I have a lot more trust in Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving in a big spot, a playoff feel. You know, they're going to be out for blood. They are playing with an edge here. You know, the idea of a revenge game is a bit silly at times here. But uh, Harden these guys right over. So they are out for revenge. They're going to take care of business here. At least keep this one close in Ben Simmons's honor. Next up, we are off to the West Coast. We got the Golden State Warriors in Denver to take on the Nuggets. I'm hopping on another underdog. I'm going to take the Nuggets plus two. But oh my God, Joe, it's a second game of a back-to-back -back for the Nuggets. Cut the crap. I don't want to hear it for a goddamn second. That is absolute horseshit. You know, people talk about the second game of a back-to-back -back situation. Guys, these are professional athletes. The way some people talk about this, it's like the guys are being wheeled in there on wheelchairs, hooked up to IVs. They're going to be fine. And this is a great opportunity for them, tremendous value as a home dog, because this version of the Golden State Warriors should not be favored in this situation, right? Take a look at their body of work here recently. Three and nine straight up and against the spread over their last 12 games. The Nuggets, meanwhile, absolutely flying. 10 and one in their last 11. You don't think they want to make up some ground in the standings here with the season winding down, looking up and seeing Golden State ahead of them. Uh, Warriors, big issues on the defensive end of the court here, guys. They continue to slip, to put it politely, last 10 games. 24th in effective uh, opponent, effective field goal shooting percentage, 29th in points allowed per 100 possessions. No big shock, the Nugs are better in each of those categories. And the Nugs on an absolute roll offensively. This is a bad matchup for Golden State tonight. Last 10 games, they are third in effective field goal shooting percentage. They're getting to the free throw line a lot. Fifth in free throw attempt rate, ninth in points per 100 possessions. Better than Golden State in all three of those categories. So give me the Nuggets as a home dog in the second game of a back-to-back. -back. And we're gonna wrap things up with the biggest game of the night, the biggest game of the week across all sports. Indeed, history will be made tonight in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, because it is the first ever game between the Seattle Kraken and the Ottawa Senators. Oh my God, the city is completely gridlocked. You cannot find a hotel room anywhere. Public washrooms, you cannot find a spot to use the washroom either. Big lineups to get into public washrooms in Ottawa here tonight. So I'm gonna take the Senators here at home, minus one. 25 so both of these teams stink but seattle stinks a lot worse check them out one in ten in their last 11 games seven straight losses on the road the sends are gonna have a big gap 
offensively. Expected goals for over the last 10 games, 15th versus 31st. Nothing special, still a decent gap there, but here's where it does get special. High danger chances, fourth versus 27th in favor of Ottawa and expect an edge on special teams here. This is where Seattle, the Kraken, who are gonna get cracked over the head. This is where they've struggled all season. Bottom four in the NHL, in both penalty kill percentage and power play percentage. Meanwhile, Ottawa absolutely clicking here on the power play, looking pretty good. They leave the NHL in high danger chances on the power play uh, over the last 10 games, despite being just 20th in minutes on the power play in that span. So give me the Senators in the biggest game of the week across all sports. They're gonna crack the Kraken right over the head. There you have it, my best bets of the night. Let me know what your best bets of the night are in that comment section right down there. Good luck with your bets, unless you are fading me, and as always, Keep chasing that paper! Woo!